going to create a part that we can machine and this is going to be the housing so we're going to pick the XY plane and enter the sketcher workbench and we're just going to create a rectangle so just draw a rectangle anywhere and we'll get the dimensions we'll double click on it to change the value of the constraint to 7 inches for the top and bottom and for the sides we'll constrain it to be 4 inches and now we'd like to center it with the axes so this uh, constraint here from the vertical axis will and the side will be 3.5 inches and from the horizontal axis to the bottom we'll constrain it to be 2 inches if it already isn't 2 inches and now we're going to add a pad and the length will be 0.9 inches here we have a pad now we're going to add some fillets we'll just pick the four edges just hold down the shift key as you select these rotate it hold down the shift key and select the fourth one so we should have four edges and we'll put a radius of one inch There we have one inch. Now we're going to put some holes. And we're going to select this edge and this edge. And then we're going to select the top surface. And that'll give us a hole. And then we can double click and we want the hole to be one inch from the top and the side so we'll exit out of the sketcher workbench here and we're going to select up to last and the diameter is going to be 0.38 inches we'll do that again select this edge and this edge and then select the top surface and it'll put that there now you just click on the constraints to define redefine it that's the quick and easy way of doing it we got two more to do select the edge and then the edge and then this top surface enter a one enter a one so each of these holes their center is one inch from the side and one inch from the bottom or top sometimes you have to zoom in to see what constraint you're actually redefining And now I want to add a, an additional outside hole. And to do this, you need to select the hole tool. And you don't want to select the hole, but you want to select the circle. So select the circle on the surface. Hit OK. And here we want to go blind and if it sometimes it doesn't take and we want the diameter to be one inch and we'll select the blind again and we want the depth to be 0.1 inch and that looks about what we want so we do that now we select the whole tool and we do the next three so what you're doing here is you're selecting the circle and then the top surface 
and that's pretty much all you have to do after you set up the first one. It remembers the other parameters. Now we'll turn this upside down and we're going to enter the Sketcher Workbench by clicking the bottom surface. We'll just select the rectangular toolbar and draw a rectangle somewhat near there. Now we'll define the parameters. This top parameter will be 4 inches. The side parameter we're going to make that out to be 3.5 inches. So you just double click on it to redefine it. And now we're going to center it. Or actually, let's uh, make the parameter from the bottom to the bottom of the actual housing be 0.25, so that'll shift it up a little bit. And this parameter here will make 1.5 inches, so that kind of centers it. And then we'll exit out and we'll create a pocket. And we want the depth to be 0.75 inches. There we have our pocket. Now we want to create four fillets. We'll just select the four edges, rotate it where you can select it, zoom in if you have to. Just select the four edges there. And then we want it to be one inch radius. Actually, want it to be 0.38 inches, not one inch. I'm going to rename the part body to a housing one, and I'm going to rename the part number to housing one, and I'm going to save it as a housing1.cat part. 